Describing the recent actions of the Chief Elections Officer Keith Lowenfield as extraordinary and stunning, Dominican attorney Anthony Astafan Wednesday night told the newsroom in an exclusive interview that the Chief Elections Officer must now produce his elections report to reflect the mathematical count of votes. The CCJ, in its judgment, set aside the June 22nd ruling of Guyana's Court of Appeal, along with the June 23rd report by Lowenfield, in which he said he had relied on the Court of Appeal's ruling, which amounted to an interpretation that more votes meant more valid votes. In that report, Lowenfield took it upon himself to invalidate over 115,000 votes to hand the incumbent APNU AFC coalition a victory, although the certified figures from the national vote recount show a victory for the main opposition, People's Progressive Party. During the jurisprudential discussion, Astafan said Lowenfield's actions amount to an affront to democracy in Guyana and the Caribbean region by extension. The, 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 the facts that have occurred, the sequence of events that have occurred in Guyana in relation to, to this election are extraordinary facts. I don't think I have ever come across anything even close to having to deal with that. Once I was told about what it is that the chief elections officer had done, or was trying to do with GCOM, it was for me stunning because all of the allegations that were being raised, I could not find and we could not find any legal basis for them being raised during the recall. He said Lowenfield in the first instance had no authority to use the objections made by one political party and without any intervention by the judiciary to invalidate votes on his own accord. No, because the CCJ declared that his, his report that he handed in with extraordinary speed after the decision of the Court of Appeal. And if, if he attempts... To also yes. had to... Fo well, I would... I, I mean, could somebody be so brazen to just submit the same document again? I mean, I, I don't know. I'm, I, I don't know the guy. The, court of, the CCJ said that the judgment of the Court of Appeal and which the Chief Elections Officer relies null and void. They also took the extraordinary due process step of saying that his report is also null and void. That means there's no legal basis whatsoever. There's no longer a court of appeal decision in existence that he could rely on to try to pull that sort of stunt again. It's as simple as that. He now has an obligation to present the quantitative result of the count, the quantitative of the count, because as the, as the, as the Chief Justice, as, as the CCJ said, and my learned friend just read, the core issues of these allegations can only be determined in accordance with the election jurisdiction process. That process can only be triggered by petition. Once GCOM, once GCOM declares the result or the winner based on the quantitative report from the supervisor of election. And thereafter, and thereafter with the election petition, all of the other qualitative issues of fraud, residence, and so on have you can, can be determined. So there is no legal, there's no lawful basis, there's no legal basis upon which he could try to do that again. But equally important, as he puts it, is the respect for the doctrine of separation of powers, where he insists that not only will Lowenfield be required to comply with the ruling of the CCJ, but also the executive government, including the president, his attorney general, and by extension, the cabinet. Kurt Campbell, Newsroom.